This is the Frederic Constant World Timer Manufacturer Timepiece. As you can see from the rear, it has a in-house manufactured automatic movement with some nice details. One of the unique features of this timepiece is the fact that it is set using just a single crown pusher device. Most world timers require a second pusher to set the world time. Looking at the dial, there's a nice world map in the center along with two outer rings. One is for the numeric hour markers and day date distinction and the outer ring has the 24 cities associated with the 24 different time zones in the world. There's also a lower date dial for the day of the month. Let's talk about how to set and read this watch. By pulling the crown into the number one position and turning the crown in the clockwise position, I am now setting the date to the 25th day. Now I'm going to set the home time by turning the crown in the opposite direction. And let's just set that to New York. As you can see, it says New York at the top of the dial, which indicates the home time zone. And finally, let's set the time. So I'll pull the pusher out into the number two position. And you'll notice as I move the minute hand to change the time, this numeric dial will also turn in synchronization to keep the time synchronized across all 24 time zones. So let's just set the time. And there we go. Time is set to 10.10 p.m. I know it's p.m. because it's noted by the number 22, which is the 10th hour of the afternoon in New York. And the way you read this watch, then, if you want to read a different time zone, for example, if you wanted to know what time it is in Dubai, for example, you would find Dubai on the dial, and it's got a number 7 on the day portion of the day-date dial. Therefore, when it's 10.10 p.m. in New York, you would read this as being 7.10 a.m. in Dubai. So that's how you set and read the world time uh, for any of the 24 time zones on the Frederic Constant World Timer Manufacturer.